My name is Steve Waller and I'm the Dean of the College and uh, thoroughly enjoy these opportunities um, to celebrate with the families and friends of our students. Um, you probably didn't know that Lincoln will be hosting the Winter Olympics out here after this. If you stay on your feet, you'll get a 10. Um, we're very sensitive to the weather and we'll uh, hopefully uh, move through in a way that will allow you to at least be out in some daylight. Uh, the roads are not getting any better, nor are the walks, so uh, we always wish you safe travels and today we'll wish you safe walking, among other things. Uh, I can't tell you how pleased we are that, that you have attended this, given uh, the challenges of the weather, knowing that it was coming. But uh, it is a, a very special day for the college. As part of the preliminary, we talk about cell phones. So if you have a cell phone, uh, now would be a good time to either put it on vibrate or the weather channel. You can take your pick. Um, if you want to update your Facebook uh, status, that's perfectly fine. Um, if you want to tweet or Twitter, whatever, whatever you do with these things, I have no idea. Snapchat, Instagram, Pinterest. Um, I know some of those don't work for this, but if you want to talk about being at this event and how much you're enjoying it, uh, that would be fine. So we're not asking to not be connected to, to the world, but uh, maybe not have the ringers uh, go off. So we have created um, an event, and this, as I said, was our 23rd. Uh, today we will have uh, seen 2,000 graduates of this college go across the stage. And there is, uh, with you in attendance, there's more than 10,000 people that uh, have been in the audience. So it's a wonderful tradition and one that uh, we think is symbolic of the college and the experience that you and your student uh, have enjoyed. Tomorrow, um, you know, weather permitting, we'll have 197 of our students graduate. Uh, that uh, will be amongst about uh, 1,450 total um, students of about 1,100 undergrads will walk tomorrow and, and uh, 350 graduate students are graduating uh, right now at, uh, during their commencement. So December is a special time um, relative to the holiday season to be able to celebrate a lot, but you get to celebrate uh, a graduation. We've had over 23,000 uh, graduates, alums of the college uh, after today's graduation. And what we wanted to do when we created this in 2005 was have an event that would address a few things that we felt were extremely important. And one was to have an event where we could thank the families uh, and the students for choosing the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, uh, and more importantly, to choose our college. Uh, we can't tell you what an honor it has been to have your student and you as part of our Kasner family. Um, the students have enriched our academic community, they always do we always learn from them as much and as I hope that they learn from us? And so it's, it's an opportunity for us to say thank you. Uh, thanks for making this your choice. And uh, more importantly today, thanks for sharing it with us. Uh, as you think about what this really means, once the student graduates, um, you know, we are, the university and our faculty and staff are now and forever part of their educational pedigree. That will never change. They will always be a graduate of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln in this college. And that's special and we appreciate the fact that, uh, once again, you made this your decision and uh, I'm sure it's, uh, it worked out well for all of you. You're gonna hear how well it worked out for the graduates as they go across the stage. The other thing that we wanted to do was have an event where we could uh, spend uh, a little more time uh, allowing us together to share the event and celebrate the accomplishments. Getting a baccalaureate degree from a Big Ten institution, uh, one of the um, premier land-grant institutions in the United States, is significant. 
and we wanted something where we could uh, share uh, that with you and allow you, uh, the family and friends of the, of the students, to experience more than what uh, the commencement will provide tomorrow, which is very um, formal and, uh, you know, it's, it's the pomp and circumstance that goes along with this accomplishment. Uh, but you often don't get to hear where the students are going with the undergrads, their names are not called because of the size of the event. Uh, and pictures aren't uh, easily available with the family. So we just wanted to have an event where we could um, bring that all together. So it's a great time to reflect on what your student has accomplished, uh, and today is symbolic of that, but it's also a wonderful time to dream about their future, uh, what they're going to do with what you've provided. And for the families, uh, you know, this is the season when people are talking about gifts, uh, the gift you have given the student is a future, and uh, that's priceless. So we want to again celebrate with you that significant accomplishment. And then finally, we wanted an event where the students could share what they're doing. Um, and that's why I said you'll, you'll see how the, the future is changed by every one of our students that walks across the stage. They filled out a card, um, reluctantly in many cases, and said what they're going to do uh, and then some of their uh, significant accomplishments while they've been here. Um, some will tell you that their significant accomplishment was uh, getting through four years without a parking ticket. Um, if they do, they didn't have a car. Um, <laughs> others will talk ab about classes and experiences, and it will give you an insight into what they've um, been uh, doing over the last four years. So we're, we're beyond excited to have you here and uh, hopefully uh, you'll celebrate with us and be as proud of your student as we are today. So with that, I'm going to introduce our Associate Dean, Tiffany Hang Moss, and she has some comments and recognition uh, to make and then we'll move through our more formal program. Well, thank you, Dean Waller, and welcome. It is great to see the turnout despite the weather outside. Um, I first want to start out by um, extending my sincere congratulations to the graduates and their families. Today is a very special day, and graduates, you did it. It's not only a very special day for the graduates and their families, but also for the faculty and staff that are part of this college. And that is because we have had the distinct pleasure of getting to know these students, the opportunity to help them discover their unique strengths, as well as witness firsthand their development as professionals and leaders. As the students are introduced today, you will recognize how truly talented of a group this is, as well as their diverse career interests. Their career interests range from food security to wildlife biology to natural resources and environmental studies to animal and plant systems to mechanization and engineering, to agricultural um, business, to economics, to entrepreneurship, to biochemistry, microbiology, food science, forensic science, education, communication, leadership, hospitality, restaurant and tourism management, and PGA golf management. Now that was a mouthful. I hope I covered everything. We have a very broad scope here in the college with over with 30 degree um, programs. As diverse as the students' career interests are the experiences that they have had while they have been here with us at the university. Some have had the opportunity to travel to another part of the world. Others have participated in campus research. Some of your students can even be Googled as an author on a scholarly publication. Still others have donated their time and talent to community engagement. Many of these students have also had experiential learning opportunities and internships that have prepared them to be career ready. But despite these differences, they have at least one common element that all of our graduates share. And that is that their degree programs are grounded in the sciences and the application of their science to solve problems. Today I have the opportunity to introduce to you five Kasner students that have been nominated for the Kasner Spirit 
Award. This award was established in 2015 to pay tribute to each year's or each semester's graduating class. Our graduates in the college are optimistic, they are self-confident, they have a strong sense of their role as global citizens, they are servant leaders with a strong commitment to their communities. They also understand and appreciate the opportunity that they have been given to attain a college education and embrace the responsibility that comes along with that. And most importantly, they recognize and appreciate those that have helped them along the way and understand that their accomplishments and its successes are shared by all of those that provide guidance and support throughout their education. Our graduates are the dreamers, they are the doers, and they are the difference makers. The first Kasner Spirit Award was given to Chris Bouquet. Chris was an applied science major from South Sioux City, Nebraska. Approximately six weeks before Chris was to graduate from the college, he was diagnosed with leukemia and began treatments right away. For many, they might have taken time off from college to focus on their health, but not Chris. He completed all requirements for his courses that semester, graduated on time, and beat leukemia. This tradition was continued with two more of our graduates, Melinda Knuth in December of 2015, followed by Gustavo Rodriguez in May of 2016. Today, as I mentioned, we are going to be recognizing five additional students that have been nominated for the Kasner Spirit Award. So at this time, could those nominees, as well as Dean Waller, please join me on the stage for the presentation of the certificates. Excellent. Well, our first nominee, unfortunately, could not be here uh, due to weather, but our first uh, nomination was for Jenna Swice. Jenna embodies spirit and involvement in the School of Natural Resources, the college, and the University of Nebraska. In early October 2013, the Atlas blizzard struck Jenna's home of South Dakota. This blizzard wiped out 100 head of cattle, hitting Jenna's family and nearby neighbors. Of course, Jenna wanted to return home, but she was torn between completing her education and helping her family. Well, I'm happy to report that Jenna managed to do both. She will be graduating tomorrow with a Bachelor of Science degree in Fisheries and Wildlife, and she did this while helping her family rebuild their cattle business. Her accomplishments in the context of overcoming this potential barrier to success her achievements, uh, make her achievements even more outstanding and impressive. And to no surprise to many that know Jenna, she received early acceptance into law school. She certainly exemplifies the Kasner spirit for which this award was created. And so we want to congratulate Jenna on her nomination. The second student is Tanner's lab. Tanner's college journey began at Doan University. Even though he knew he eventually wanted to pursue a degree in agriculture, Tanner had the opportunity to play football for Doan. After that fall semester, Tanner realized he was sacrificing many hours working towards a goal that would not completely help him with his future. Tanner ultimately transferred to UNL to pursue a degree in agronomy. After taking some glasses, he also realized that he had a love for fisheries and wildlife and decided to pursue two degrees in the college. Throughout Tanner's journey as a student, he still had a dream of being part of the Nebraska football team. In the fall of 2015, after many walkout tryouts, as well as changing the position he played, Tanner finally made the team. Pursuing two degrees, maintaining a high GPA, starting his own business, and trying out for the Husker football team wasn't enough for Tanner. He also took courses to obtain his pilot's license. He still participates in his high school alumni band. He helps out on the family farm and spends many hours with family. Tanner is an example of a quiet hero within Kasner. He does not cause waves um, or ask for attention, but is always there making a difference. So congratulations, Tanner, on your nomination. <laughs> yeah. 
Our third student that has been nominated for the Kasner Spirit Award is Danielle Olson. Danielle is a model of the spirit of caring. She is empathetic and a super achiever. She does not complain. She is upbeat and out to excel in everything she does. And I can confirm that. I had Danielle in class. As an example, the internships that she received in her chosen career field, which is forensic science, were not readily available to forensic science. She was persistent and chartered new territory in the field of forensic science, which is significant for all future forensic science students that will follow in her footsteps. She has set the stage and emerged as a role model for her peers. Congratulations, Danielle, on your nomination. The fourth student is Caleb Lindhorst. During Caleb's junior year at UNL, he suffered a traumatic brain injury as a result of an automobile accident, which happened right before Christmas of 2013. After a week in ICU, in a coma, Caleb's parents were told that their son likely only had a 10% chance of ever awakening. As you can tell today, Caleb beat those odds. Most of us would not have had the strength, desire, and willpower to do what Caleb has done. As a testament to motivation, Caleb will graduate on Saturday from the College of Engineering, and he will begin his master's degree with the University of Nebraska in January. There are few better examples of individuals that go forth from this university into the world than Caleb. Few of us ever are challenged by such adversity, and fewer yet are, over, are able to overcome them as Caleb has. On behalf of the college, I am honored to recognize Caleb as an honorary Kasner student and award him a lifetime membership to the Kasner Alumni Association. Congratulations, Caleb. We are excited to have you be a part of our college. The fifth student is Harvey Leo. Harvey came to the United States in the fall of 2010 and attended high school in Philadelphia for one year. In the fall of 2011, he was accepted at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln to study forensic science. Not only has Harvey completed all requirements for this degree, but he also fulfilled all requirements for United States citizenship. In all aspects of his life, Harley, Harvey exemplifies dedication, focus, and persistence. He not only has demonstrated his scholarship's abilities as a student, he has demonstrated through word and deed the spirit of hard work, achievements, and goals, and involvement in the community. He came to the United States with the purpose of studying forensic science and earning a college degree. I think we would all agree that he has done that and more. Harvey has established himself as a role model for all students worldwide who want to realize a dream. We are pleased to recognize Harvey as the Kasner Spirit Award recipient for the December class of 2016. An inscripted brick will be placed in Legacy Courtyard here on East Campus to honor Harvey and to pay tribute to this semester's graduating class. Having a brick as part of Legacy Courtyard is a wonderful way to leave a permanent legacy on East Campus. So these are just a few examples of the very talented students that are part of this semester's graduating class. So let's give them one more round of applause. Perfect. And let's also take this time to thank the nominators for putting together these excellent nomination packets. At this time, I'd like to also recognize one other individual, and that is Lee Harlan. So Lee, could you please stand up for us? What we'd like to do on behalf of the college is an extend to you an early birthday wish. Her birthday is tomorrow. Um, and we want to recognize Lee because Lee and her family embody the Kasner spirit, and they have provided tremendous support to our students and to the institute. So thank you, Lee. I think that we would all agree, as a society, we are going to face some challenges ahead. Some of those grand challenges, such as ensuring food for all, 
especially with this growing population and what it's predicted to be. Combating terrorism, preserving our natural resources for future generation, finding cures to disease, climate change, just to name a few. Some are pessimistic about the future. I, on the other hand, I'm optimistic. And I'm optimistic because I am betting on these graduates and their peers. I believe that they are going to be the problem solvers, the innovators, and the leaders that will develop solutions to these challenges as well as make discoveries that will advance our society as a whole. So now to the graduates. Do you feel as though I have placed the weight of the world on your shoulders? Please do not stress, accept my challenge, and embrace this opportunity. Because I can guarantee you, as a graduate of this college, you are ready and prepared to be a difference maker. It is also reassuring to know that the land grant system, which established the University of Nebraska in 1869, is still very relevant today to our youth, to our state, and to our world. So in conclusion, I would again like to congratulate the graduates, extend a special thank you to the family and friends of the graduates for your support. And as a graduate of this college, I'd like to be the first to welcome these graduates to the Kasner alumni. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce Dr. Ron Yoder, who is the Interim Vice Chancellor for the Institute of Agriculture and Natural Resources and the Interim Vice President for Agriculture and Natural Resources at the University of Nebraska. Dr. Yoder. Thank you, Tiffany. And thank all of you, parents and friends, for coming out on this rather difficult day to honor the students that are graduating from Kasner. As you probably know, Kasner is one third of the mission of the Institute of Agriculture and Natural Resources, the other two mission areas being Nebraska Extension and the Agricultural Research Division. And within Kasner, we have nine departments two schools and four programs that are being recognized here today with students that are graduating from those programs. We also have two other departments. Uh, statistics would be one of those and plant pathology the other that have only graduate programs so they will not have students being recognized here today. As we uh, begin our recognition of students here today, I'm going to ask Dean Waller and Eric Hogemeyer to join me on the stage. They will each greet this graduates as they come across the stage. And a representative from each one of the programs will also be here to greet the graduates as they come to the stage. So we're going to begin with students, with graduates from the Agricultural Economics Department. And representing that department will be the department head, Dr. Larry Van Tassel. Kevin Donahue is from Columbus, Nebraska, and is receiving a bachelor science degree in agribusiness. Kevin plans to return to Columbus and work at Ag Spray Equipment as a sales representative and also help on the family farm. Kevin's greatest accomplishment was graduating early with no debt. Alyssa Hamilton is from Fullerton, Nebraska, is receiving a bachelor of science degree in agribusiness. Alyssa plans to work for Homestead Bank as a loan officer and credit analyst. Alyssa also plans to continue to raise show goats. Alyssa's greatest achievement was graduating with one and a half years early. Trent Hofer is from Elgin, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Economics. Trent plans to start out as a broker with Commodity Solutions Incorporated in Norfolk, Nebraska, and eventually return to his family's farm. Trent's greatest accomplishment was being able to graduate college knowing that he has a full-time job waiting for him with a great company. Levi Kirkman is from Elgin, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Economics. Levi plans to be an assistant manager at Neoar Brothers Feedlot. Levi's greatest experience was meeting great friends and future connections, as well as becoming more independent, mature, and confident. Jesse McKillop is from Clearwater, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agribusiness. Jesse plans to pursue a career in agricultural lending at the Tilden Bank in Clearwater, Nebraska, and stay involved in the family of operation. Jesse's greatest accomplishment was being involved with Dr. Hansen's Nebraska Bankers Association Internship Program. 
David Moss is from Burr, Nebraska, is receiving a bachelor of science degree in agribusiness. David plans to work at Farm Credit Services of America as an inside sales representative for Ag Direct. David's greatest experience was going on a study abroad trip to Spain and France in May 2015. Andrew Pavlik is from Omaha, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Economics. Andrew plans to pursue a Master's degree in Agricultural Economics here at UNL. Andrew's greatest experience was competing against an international lineup at the National Agri-Marketing Association's National Conference. Bailey Peters is from Worth, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agribusiness. Bailey plans to work full-time for First State Bank, Nebraska, as a customer service representative. Bailey's greatest accomplishment was graduating in seven semesters after transferring colleges and working multiple part-time jobs while keeping up her grades at the same time. Mariah Schwears is from Wisner, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agribusiness. Mariah plans to continue full-time employment as Nebraska Oral and Facial Surgery in Lincoln, Nebraska. Mariah's greatest experience was participating in the Nebraska Bankers Association Scholarship Program. Cheyenne Smith is from Storm Lake, Iowa, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agribusiness. Cheyenne plans to pursue a career in Agribusiness and continue to be active in her family's cattle operation. Cheyenne's greatest accomplishment was being able to juggle her academics with her extracurriculars and getting to meet some pretty awesome people along the way. Dusty Staub is from Ord, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Economics. Dusty plans to move back to Ord, Nebraska and work on the family farm. Dusty's greatest experience was being involved with the Alpha Gamma Rho fraternity. David Wallace from Valparaiso, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agribusiness. David plans to work for the USDA Agricultural Research Service in Lincoln, Nebraska, as an agriculture research technician. David's greatest accomplishment was making lifelong friends and making the Dean's List. Congratulations to all of our graduates in the Department of Agriculture Economics. Our next department that's being recognized will be the Department of Agricultural Leadership, Education, and Communication. Dr. Mark Balschweid is the department head in that department, and representing the department today is Dr. Lloyd Bell. Alexandra Cunningham is from Wausau, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Education. Alexandra plans to teach agriculture education at Verdigree High School for grades 7 through 12. Alexandra's greatest experience was the time spent with other agriculture educators throughout the state. Jessica Francis is from Lincoln, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of, Science, Bachelor of Arts degree in Hospitality, Restaurant, and Tourism Management. Jessica plans to eat more avocado, maybe take a nap, and go out in the world and do something awesome. <laughs> Jessica's greatest accomplishment was making it here today. Cheyenne? Cheyenne Lovett is from Bladen, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Education. Cheyenne plans to work as the Corporate Marketing Coordinator for American Foods Group and live in Omaha, Nebraska. Cheyenne's greatest experience was being on the 2016 UNL Meets Judging Team and traveling with the team. Sarah Schaum is from Medford, Minnesota, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Education. Sarah plans to move to Des Moines, Iowa to begin a position with DuPont Pioneer as a Sales Support Coordinator. Sarah's greatest experience was being a resident assistant for two and a half years in Selleck Hall and getting to develop amazing relationships. Congratulations to all of our graduates in the Department of Agriculture, Leadership, Education, and Communication. Next, we will recognize students in our agronomy and horticulture program. The uh, department head in agronomy and horticulture is Dr. Ron Quisson. And today, Dr. Richard Ferguson will be here to greet the graduates. Trevor Bellina is from Battle Creek, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. Trevor plans to work for Farmer's Pride of Battle Creek as a crop scouting and agriculture technology specialist. Trevor's greatest accomplishment was maintaining good grades while completing his degree ahead of schedule. Charles Blowers is from Arnold, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. Charles plans to move back to the family farming operation to help his dad and uncle. Charles' greatest accomplishment was being a member of the Alpha Gamma Rho fraternity. He met a lot of great men and shared thousands of great memories with them. Aaron Cronk is from Page, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. Aaron plans to be an agronomist in Page, Nebraska at Agricultural Services. Aaron's greatest experience was taking Ag Econ 141 and 201 with Dr. Ron Hansen. 
Spencer Endorf is from Norfolk, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agronomy. Spencer plans to work at Servitech Incorporated as an independent crop consultant in O'Neill, Nebraska. Spencer's greatest accomplishment was being a teaching assistant for soil nutrient relationships and starting the UNL Competitive Archers Bowhunters Club. Craig Dollars from Clarkson, Nebraska is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agronomy. Craig plans to be employed at GNA Farms, farming alongside his dad and brother. Craig's greatest achievement was being named the Dean's List for six semesters. Samuel Hahn is from DeWitt, Nebraska is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agronomy. Samuel plans to pursue a career in agronomy in the DeWitt area and start his own beef operation and help his father farm. Samuel's greatest accomplishments are making the Dean's List one semester, receiving academic All Big Ten, and taking every class with Sam Foltz for three straight semesters. Jeremy Hodick is from Chapman, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. Jeremy plans to pursue a career in agronomy after graduation. Jeremy's greatest accomplishments was making lasting friendships throughout his college career. Kyle Jackman is from Bassett, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. Kyle plans to return to his family farm after graduation. Kyle's greatest accomplishment was achieving high grades and developing lifelong friendships. Garrett Johns is from Phillips, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. Garrett plans to work for Aurora Co-op as a precision ag product salesman. Garrett's greatest accomplishment was being named to the Nebraska Athlete Scholar Honor Roll. Allison Lysing is from Seward, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. Allison plans to work in agriculture in western Nebraska. Allison's greatest experience was being able to travel with a great group of people to Argentina during study abroad. Joey Lewandowski is from Omaha, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. Joey plans to live in Loop City, Nebraska, on his grandma's small farm and work as a crop consultant in Coatesville, Nebraska. Joey's greatest achievement was passing agronomy 405. <laughs> Whitney Lovegrow is from Geneva, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. Whitney plans to seek one more internship in hops production in Yakima Valley, Washington, and work for Dow AgriSciences in York. Whitney's greatest accomplishment was completing capstones in farm management, entrepreneurship, and agroecology. Sarah Mossick is from Lincoln, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in horticulture. Sarah plans to be a community landscape specialist with the Nebraska Statewide Arboretum before starting a business. Sarah's greatest experience was completing an independent study research project and writing a business plan to complete in a quick pitch competition. Tanya Naveen is from Lincoln, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in horticulture. Tanya plans to pursue a career at a local organic farm. Tanya's greatest accomplishment was networking and making differences with fellow plant nerds in the Horticulture Club and Horticulture Honor Society. Mitch Oswald is from Aurora, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. Mitch plans to move home to Aurora to work for Agrigold Seeds as a field advisor as well as work on the family farm. Mitch's greatest accomplishment was making lifelong friends with the best people who have played a big part in every aspect of his life. Daniel Rentschler is from Atkinson, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. Daniel plans to move back to Atkinson, Nebraska, and work for Bob Den Farms. Daniel's greatest accomplishment was furthering his knowledge in agriculture, business, and agronomy. Kara Shoshek is from Prague, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in horticulture. Kara plans to work full-time for Oak Creek Vineyard, as well as designs by Nelson Landscaping. She also plans to start her own vineyard in Prague. Kara's greatest experience was her involvement in the Horticulture Club, coordinating the annual spring sale. Joseph Salato is from Walton, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. Joseph plans to return to school to obtain a degree in automotive technology. Joseph's greatest accomplishment was completing Agronomy 440, Great Plans Ecosystems, taught by Dr. Durock Twidwell. Tanner's Lab is from Wilbur, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy and in fisheries and wildlife. Tanner plans to start a vineyard after graduation. Tanner's greatest accomplishment was graduating with two majors and being able to walk on the football team while maintaining a high GPA. Congrats to all of our graduates in agronomy and horticulture. Graduates in the Animal Science Department will be greeted by Interim Department Head Phil Miller. 
Aaron Bloom is from Benedict, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Aaron plans to work as a management trainee in the farrowing barn at a local hawk farm in Waco, Nebraska. Aaron's greatest experience was attending study abroad tours and meeting professionals within the industry that enhanced her education and gave her insight into possible careers. Shelby Garland is from Ohio, Ohio, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Shelby plans to attend graduate school after graduation. Shelby's greatest accomplishment was getting accepted into graduate school. Rebecca Gunderson is from Gretna, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Rebecca plans to attend graduate school at UNL for Applied Animal Science. Rebecca's greatest accomplishment was being the Tie Point Individual Award for the AQHA World Championship Horse Judging Competition. Tara Harms is from Dodge, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science and in Grazing Livestock Systems. Tara plans to enter the workforce as a cattle health assistant at a feedlot. Tara's greatest accomplishment was improving her self-confidence in all aspects of the cattle industry through course, coursework, student employment, and industry-related internships. Holly Hiles from Ord, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Holly plans to work in the agriculture field and continue to work at her family farm and ranch. Holly's greatest accomplishment was making connections with the Animal Science faculty, as well as many classmates that have now become lifelong friends. Devin Husenfeld is from Cortland, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science and in Grazing Livestock Systems. Devin plans to be employed by the USDA NRCS as a Range Conservation Specialist in Oshkosh, Nebraska. Devin's greatest experiences were all the internships that he participated in, including two different ranches, Select Sires and the NRCS. Brittany Martin is from Marquette, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Brittany plans to work at the Meat Animal Research Center dealing with production management for cow-calf. Pairs. Brittany's greatest accomplishment was learning about animals while getting hands-on experience and receiving her diploma. Elizabeth McDonald is from Phillips, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Elizabeth plans to attend Iowa State University for a master's degree in ruminant nutrition. Elizabeth's greatest experience was implementing the skills learned in classes into practice through internships. Sarah Peterson is from Tallahassee, Florida, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Sarah plans to apply to veterinary school to start in the fall of 2018. Sarah's greatest experience was gaining hands-on laboratory experience with animals through a variety of her animal science courses. Kelsey Shear is from St. Paul, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Kelsey plans to pursue a full-time job in the agriculture industry. Kelsey's greatest experience was being on the meats judging team and learning more than she ever thought possible. Amanda Schmore is from Eagle, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Amanda plans to start employment with Neogen after graduation. Amanda's greatest experience was her internship with the Lincoln Children's Zoo. Dave Shields is from O'Neill, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Dave plans to return to the family operation while growing his personal cow herd. Dave's greatest accomplishment was gaining knowledge that he can use after graduation. Jared Saul is from Omaha, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Jared plans to pursue a career in Animal Science following graduation. Jared's greatest accomplishment was balancing his studies and social life. Dan Hendry is from Atlantia, California, and is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Applied Science. Dan plans to work at Aurora Co-op in York, Nebraska. Dan's greatest accomplishment was graduating and passing all of Steve Mason's classes. Congratulations to all of our graduates in the Department of Animal Science. Tiffany Hang Moss will recognize a student in the Applied Sciences program. My apologies, that was actually Dan, Jared. I got carried away. Or Dan, Hendry. So we are done with Applied Sciences. Oh. <laughs> My apologies, Dan. Animal Science just gained a graduate. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so our graduates in biochemistry will be greeted by Dr. John Markwell, who is the Associate Dean in the College of Agricultural Sciences and Natural Resources and an yeah. esteemed biochemist. The uh, head of the department is Dr. Paul Black. Katie Sabota is from Elkhorn, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in biochemistry. Katie plans to take a gap year, continuing to shadow, work in a lab, and then attend medical school. Katie's greatest accomplishment was how much she grew as a person through the relationships she built and the knowledge she gained. Congratulations, Katie. 
our only graduate in biochemistry. We will now recognize students from the Department of Biological Systems Engineering, and those students will be welcomed by Mark Riley, Dr. Mark Riley, the department head. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Caleb Lindhorst is from Lindsay, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Engineering. Caleb plans to attend graduate school at UNL studying Agriculture Engineering. Caleb's greatest accomplishment was creating and programming a data acquisition system for the Power Lab Dynamometer. And I'm glad you're still going to be studying here more. Matt Treadway is from Ashland, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanized Systems Management. Matt plans to expand his cattle operation and agronomy sales business, Treadway Ag, started when he was a sophomore in college. Matt's greatest accomplishment was starting a business in a cow herd while attending college full time. Ryan Taverdi is from Valparaiso, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanized Systems Management. Ryan plans to begin working for the Union Pacific Railroad in the Operations Management Trainee Program. Ryan's greatest accomplishment was meeting and networking with a ton of great people. Congratulations to our graduates in Biological Systems Engineering. Dr. Martin Massengale, Director for the Center of Grassland Studies, will welcome students from that program. Thomas Juttonen is from Elk River, Minnesota, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in PGA Golf Management. Thomas plans to work full-time as an assistant golf professional in Medina Golf and Country Club in Minneapolis. Thomas's greatest experience was the life lessons, education, and work experience he was able to obtain while moving on his own out of state and away from his family. Coleman? Jake Coleman is from Murdoch, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in PGA Golf Management. Jake plans to continue working at Wichita Country Club as an assistant golf professional. Jake's greatest experience was his involvement with the PGA Golf Management Student Club and the UNL Intramural Sports Program. Congratulations to all of our graduates in PGA Golf Management. Students in the Environmental Studies program will be recognized by Christine Haney. Aaron Devine is from Grand Island, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Studies and in Fisheries and Wildlife. Aaron plans to attend graduate school in the fall of 2017 in order to pursue interests in ethnobiology, conservation, and development. Aaron's greatest experiences were conducting an undergraduate thesis and visiting Puerto Rico for a class on tropical ecology. Daniel Jones is from Lincoln, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Studies. Danielle plans to work for the Kauai School Garden Network and for a nonprofit organization, Malama Kauai. Daniel's greatest experience was participating and eventually leading the soil judging team. Evan Malloy is from Decatur, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Studies. Evan plans to take a few months off to weigh his options and search for a job. Evan's greatest experience was studying abroad in Australia and Indonesia during his junior year. Congratulations to our graduates in Environmental Studies. Students in the Forensic Science Program will be recognized by Dr. Mike Adamovich. Danielle Essam is from Lenexa, Kansas, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Forensic Science. Danielle plans to seek employment in the field of Forensic Science after graduation. Danielle's greatest experience was the Forensic Science capstone course that she participated in. Alex Fernholz is from Shakopee, Minnesota, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Forensic Science. 
Alex plans to begin her career in forensic science, hoping to stay in the Lincoln area. Alex's greatest experience was studying abroad in Scotland. It was a wonderful experience and something she will always cherish. Harvey Lewis from Hong Kong, China is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Forensic Science. Harvey plans to travel overseas, visit family, and possibly seek graduate study after graduation. Harvey's greatest experience was learning professional crime scene investigation knowledge and applying it in law enforcement field internships. Brianne Morris is from Cedar Bluffs, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Forensic Science. Brianne plans to find a job in the Forensic Science field and possibly attend graduate school in the future. Brianne's greatest experience was her study abroad experience in Italy, working with mummies and looking at silicon culture. Congratulations to our graduates in Forensic Science. <laughs> Students from our School of Natural Resources will be welcomed by Associate Director Paul Hansen. The director of the school is Dr. John Carroll. David Burbach is from Hardington, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Fisheries and Wildlife. David plans to continue work at Nine Mile Prairie and search for full-time employment after graduation. David's greatest accomplishment was being selected as a Cabela's apprentice and the opportunity to learn about wildlife. Sam Kubrich is from Omaha, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Fisheries and Wildlife. Sam plans to seek full-time employment in natural resources. Sam's greatest experience was fish sampling in both ichthyology and fisheries taught by Mark Pegg. Griffin Nuzo is from Chicago, Illinois, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Water Science. Griffin plans to work on research projects at UNL after graduation. Griffin's greatest achievement was receiving a grant from the Agriculture Research Division for a senior capstone project. Colton Reeder is from Lincoln, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Restoration Science. Colton plans to seek an internship or full-time position in natural resources. Colton's greatest accomplishment was transforming an inclination into a dream, and now a dream into a reality. Tiffany Ripple is from Lincoln, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Fisheries and Wildlife. Tiffany will be working full-time at Neogen Genotyping Animal and Plant DNA. Tiffany's greatest experience was completing research projects and internships for UCARE, Biological Sciences, and Outdoor Education. Michaela Wilson is from Lincoln, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Fisheries and Wildlife. Michaela plans to pursue a job in natural resources where she can work directly with animals and share her passion for living things with others. Michaela's greatest experience was her School of Natural Resources trip to Puerto Rico, where she got to snorkel in the coral reef, hold a live bat, and experience unique wildlife. Congratulations to all of our graduates in the School of Natural Resources. Graduates from our School of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences will be welcomed by Director of the School, Clayton Kelling, Dr. Clayton Kelling. Megan O'Callaghan is from Junietta, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Veterinary Science. Megan plans to continue her education in Nebraska's cooperative program with Iowa State University to obtain her doctorate of veterinary medicine. Megan's greatest accomplishment was achieving her goal of being accepted into veterinary school, allowing her to further pursue her dream of becoming a veterinarian. Congratulations to our graduates in the Department of Veterinary Science. Congratulations to all of our graduates, and let's warm them up on this cold afternoon with another round of applause. It's now my honor to turn the podium over to Eric Hogemeyer, the president of the Kasner Alumni Association. All right, uh, good afternoon or evening. My name is Eric Hogemeyer, as aforementioned, and I'm the current uh, president of the Kasner Alumni Association. Before I begin, uh, I'd like to recognize my fellow Kasner Alumni Association board member that's here to share uh, our gratitude today, uh, Bart Brinkman. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the entire board and the association, I want to congratulate and welcome your graduate to the Kasner alumni family. It is our pleasure to honor and celebrate your graduate's accomplishment on this day. The mission of the Kasner Alumni Association is very simple, to cultivate and enhance the Kasner network, including alumni and their families, 
prospective and current students, and of course, friends and supporters of the college. We do several events throughout the year to promote our mission. Helping recognize each of your graduates is just one of the activities I get to be a part of through my participation in this group. The Kasner Alumni Association also raises and provides scholarship funding for Kasner students. I am extremely proud to be a part of an organization that has contributed over $45,000 of scholarship money to Kasner students. Commencement signif signifies, excuse me, the beginning of the lifelong learning for your graduate. There is no better way to stay engaged and remain current in a chosen discipline than by networking through the college's alumni association. We sincerely hope that you will provide encouragement for your graduate to stay connected. It is the absolute best way to add value to the investment that you have all just made in your graduate's education and their future. Finally, from your Kastner Alumni Association, congratulations to you and to your graduate. Each is well prepared for the challenges and adventures that lie ahead, and we wish them the very best in their future endeavors. Thank you kindly and congratulations again. Eric wanted to sneak out because he needs to get back to Omaha and he's uh, concerned about the road, so I told him I wouldn't make a big deal about it. But we want to. <laughs> We do want to thank Eric for the uh, time to come down here and uh, represent the Alumni Association and BART as well. Uh, they are the network that your student will be able to uh, use in the future. And uh, we've got 14,000, I think, uh, alumni around the world that um, will keep everybody current uh, as they go forward in their career path. We get to do some special recognitions. Uh, if you'll, uh, when you have a chance, uh, we hope you take the program and keep it uh, as a remembrance of the event. But in it, on page 10, there are uh, students that have done extraordinary work in the classroom. Uh, they've been recognized for um, high distinction and highest distinction um, and distinction. You can see what it uh, requires in the names. We've had students in the Moral Scholars Program. We've had students in the Engler Program. Uh, we've had students in University Honors. Uh, and as we've highlighted those um, and uh, as a recognition of their honor, we uh, always are paying tribute, as we did with the Spirit Award, to every one of our students. They've all uh, accomplished uh, significant things while they've been here. So we're very pleased, uh, if you have a chance, to go through and look at what some of the uh, students that are in this graduating class have done relative to some significant accomplishments uh, regarding their efforts in the classroom and outside the classroom, actually. We do have a senior survey, um, and our seniors are encouraged to fill it out to give us feedback so that uh, we know at what point in time in one of these events, I will need a stool more often than not to stand on, so I look tall compared to some of these graduates. Actually, I'm kidding. That's not why we do the survey. Um, but we have to encourage them to give us feedback, and uh, that includes some incentives. So we have a gift card for one of the students that completed the survey, uh, and it's Harvey. Uh, our Kastner Spirit Award winner, now has a $100 gift certificate. Uh, so if you wind up staying here because the roads are too bad, Harvey will be happy to provide you with hot chocolate or coffee, because he's in a position now. Um, we do use the survey a lot, and uh, appreciate everybody taking their time to, to fill it out and give us some feedback on that. Dr. Gerald Horst was up here taking photos. Um, He's left. You're all wondering why they get to leave and you don't. Um, he's got to drive back towards Burwell. Uh, I think he'll get probably about a mile into Lincoln and decide Burwell's out of reason. But Gerald's an emeriti that's been doing uh, photographs for us forever. 
indicative of this college. He and his wife drive in for every commencement that we have a salute uh, to take pictures and be part of it. Those pictures will be on our website. Uh, there's uh, a footnote in the program that will tell you when they're available. Um, but we encourage the families um, in your local communities if you have a chance to let your local newspaper know that the photo is available and they could uh, write a story about your graduate. Uh, but they'll be up on our website after the first of the year. So um, that is particularly, I think, valuable. Now, as we were having this event, the students went out and they had a, a class photo taken. So um, we will have in our office, and we'd encourage you when you get a chance to be back on campus uh, to come by and uh, find your graduate uh, in our class photo. So they've been out, uh, hopefully, getting organized for that class photo. And it's our way of keeping them here so they'll be here when you get done and can actually talk to them instead of them scattering. We've all been parents. Um, Family photos, um, if you noticed, a lot of the, the students um, were dressed up in a way that you might want to take advantage of that, <laughs> having been a parent. Uh, actually, it's not past tense. You're never not a parent once you are a parent. Uh, but you're welcome to use the backdrop and uh, take photos if you'd like. Uh, if you haven't done your Christmas cards, it's, it's a nice way to symbolize the event as well. So use the backdrop, it'll be set up for you uh, if you want to come by and take photos of the family. Each student gets a video. It's a video of the college that uh, Dick Cavett actually narrates. And, and many of you in the audience know who Dick Cavett is. None of the graduates will know who Dick Cavett is. Uh, I know who Dick Cavett is. I may have taught Dick Cavett, who knows. Um, but it's, it's a wonderful overview of the college uh, and its history. And while the students won't realize uh, probably how interesting it is, um, if you have time, uh, I'd encourage the parents and family uh, of the students, if, if you have time and an interest, to take a look at it. It's very well done. NET produced it. But it's a fascinating view of how this college began and actually when it was started, it was 1872, and where we're at today. Uh, it's amazing. And it talks about impact of graduates and there'll be a video of your students I'm sure at some point in time so we'd like you to take advantage of that we have flowers available we always encourage uh, our students to take a flower uh, and give it uh, to their their mom or grandmother favorite aunt uh, the uh, the recognition we want is for them to have an opportunity to thank the family uh, for everything they've done. Um, in some cases, some of the students have more people to thank than we have flowers, so I always wish them well. Um, they can pick who they would like to give the flower to. Um, but we have more flowers, uh, I'm sure, than we need, so uh, please take as many as you need. Um, we've seen parents that have pressed the flowers, put the program uh, away, and it becomes part of the family uh, scrapbook. So enjoy the flowers for what they represent. And uh, not only is it a gift from the student, but it's a gift from the college to thank you for sharing your student with us. Tomorrow we have uh, the commencement. It will be at Pinnacle Bank Arena. And uh, we have a, an event called Senior Send Off. And that starts at 7.30 uh, at Pinnacle Bank Arena. And uh, it's, uh, it's been a very good event for us because uh, we have an agenda. You're the first ones there uh, because it's 7.30. Uh, that's good. Uh, that means parking is better than if you come at 9. It also means identifying seats in the arena where you might want to sit can happen prior to everybody getting there. Uh, we will be uh, providing coffee and rolls and just opportunity to visit with your student and uh, the faculty of the college and the staff that are there. But it's just a nice way. There's no program. It's just come and go. Um, but it has been a, a very nice way for you to be able to take a chance and make, sh you know, make sure your student's there. 
um, and help them with their cap and gown or call frantically if they forgot their cap in the residence hall or something. We get all sorts of stories. Um, but it's, it's a nice way to get settled in for what will be a very, uh, I think, a very important day for all of you. So we hope to see you. Uh, I'm sure if they're going to do anything relative to um, this, the commencement itself, we're supposed to have freezing rain through uh, at least into the night. Um, but most of the main roads we're hearing are at, at least passable. So uh, I would plan on, on attending. And if you can do it and get to the Pinnacle Bank Arena a little early to help with the senior send off, why? I'd certainly recommend it. Uh, it's going to be a great morning for a warm cup of coffee and a roll uh, and some uh, good conversation. We may be one of the coldest states in the nation about this time, but I'm convinced we have the warmest people anywhere, and we would like to enjoy that day with you. Wish you safe travels if you're going home, uh, and as I said at the beginning, safe walking. Uh, and the last thing I'd like to say is your student is never too old or too big to hug. Hug them once for us because we're so proud of them and enjoy them every day. And happy holidays to all of you.